The Bulldog, also known as the English Bulldog or British Bulldog, is a medium-sized dog breed. It is a muscular, hefty dog with a wrinkled face and a distinctive pushed-in nose. The Kennel Club, UK, the American Kennel Club, US, and the United Kennel Club, US, oversee breeding records. Bulldogs are popular pets. They were the fifth most popular pure breed in the US in 2017 according to the American Kennel Club. Bulldogs have a long-standing association with British culture, as the BBC wrote, to many the Bulldog is a national icon, symbolizing pluck and determination. During World War II, Bulldogs were often likened to Prime Minister Winston Churchill and his defiance of Nazi Germany. The Bulldog Club, England, was formed in 1878, and the Bulldog Club of America was formed in 1890. Bulldogs have characteristically wide heads and shoulders along with a pronounced mandibular prognathism. There are generally thick folds of skin on the brow, round, black, wide set eyes, a short muzzle with characteristic folds called a rope or nose roll above the nose, hanging skin under the neck, drooping lips and pointed teeth, and an underbite with an upturned jaw. The coat is short, flat, and sleek with colors of red, fawn, white, brindle, and piebald. In the United Kingdom, the breed standards are 55 pounds, 25 kilograms, for a male and 50 pounds, 23 kilograms, for a female. In the United States, a typical mature male weighs 50 pounds, 23 kilograms, while mature females weigh about 40 pounds, 18 kilograms. 5. The Bulldog Club of America recommends the average weight of a bulldog to be 40 to 50 pounds, 18 to 23 kilograms. Bulldogs are one of the few breeds whose tail is naturally short and either straight, screwed or thin and thus is not cut or docked as with some other breeds. A straight tail is a more desirable tail according to the breed standard set forth by the BCA if it is facing downward, not upward. Citation needed. According to the American Kennel Club, AKC, a bulldog's disposition should be equable and kind, resolute, and courageous, not vicious or aggressive, and demeanor should be pacifist and dignified. These attributes should be countenanced by the expression and behavior. Wide Stance Breeders have worked to reduce slash remove aggression from these dogs. Most have a friendly, patient, but stubborn nature. Bulldogs are recognized as excellent family pets because of their tendency to form strong bonds with children. Generally, bulldogs are known for getting along well with children, other dogs, and other pets. Get ready to have your mind blown. Pit bulls are not actually a breed of dog. The term refers to a variety of breeds, like the American Staffordshire Terrier, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier and other such mixes of dogs. In the early part of the last century, pit bulls were known as nanny dogs. It may be hard to believe now with all of the bad press they receive, but pit bulls were the breed of choice among parents with young children. If you left your kid with a pit bull, they were safe. They were originally bred to drive and catch livestock and to serve as the ideal family companions. Pit bulls were not bred as guard dogs because they were too friendly. They do not have locking jaws. This is a myth. To piggyback on fact number 5, pit bulls also don't have the strongest bite among all dog breeds. German Shepherds and Rottweilers actually have a more powerful bite. As many as 75% of mixed breed dogs in animal shelters, including pit bulls and pit bull mixes are misidentified as the wrong breed. They are not inherently aggressive dogs. In fact, in temperance tests, pit bulls were the second most tolerant breed behind golden retrievers. The least tolerant was the Chihuahua. In 1993, a pit bull named Vila won the Kennel Ration Dog Hero of the Year award for her heroic actions following a dam break along the Tijuana River. Over the course of three months, Vila rescued 30 people, 29 dogs, 13 horses and a cat. She also hauled food to stranded animals and led rescuers to 13 abandoned horses. Go, Wheeler. 
reports of pit bulls attacking people and the prominence of the breed among dog fighting circles has added to the fear and misperceptions about these lovable and adoptable dogs. The fact is that all dogs can attack, and that is almost always a result of bad human ownership. Any dog who has been abused, abandoned, neglected or trained to attack can grow up to exhibit aggressive behavior. It's not intrinsic to pit bulls or any other breed.